My name is Caden, and I'm a computer engineer by trade, working full-time as a software developer. I've always enjoyed doing DIY projects, and after my channel started to get popular over my whole home audio projects, I decided to make this episode series. So come along this journey as I show you from start to finish how I'm installing whole home audio into my existing two-story house. I'm back here for a update, an update for the whole home audio install that we're doing. Um, this install should have been done about a month ago and the reason why it's not done, my new ceiling fan that I was going to replace at the same time that I put in these two speakers and the speaker on this side, my ceiling fan has been getting delayed by the manufacturer. So it was supposed to be here early December and then it was supposed to be here in the middle of December and now it was supposed to be here January 7th and now they've delayed it to January 13th. So um, I'm because I'm renting scaffolding because this is a like a 17 foot ceiling. Um, so in order to do the speakers I just wanted to hit it all up and I'm replacing these two lights but those lights came in and I'm gonna put new uh, vents on the ceiling that look a lot nicer. But this freaking fan is the thing that I've been waiting on. So that's been delaying this whole thing. But otherwise, the whole project is done. So that is the reason why there hasn't been any uh, videos lately. So hopefully, um, you know, it's gonna be another month probably before I get the finishing video. So I think the next video should be the final video in the series and then that means this is all done so what we're gonna do tonight is I've got my cable what I'm gonna do is run remember there's gonna be three speakers in this zone so I'm gonna run the cable so that way I can be done in the attic at least done until um, I get my scaffolding put up and then I'll have to be up there just for uh, a brief moment but um, I'm gonna get this cable ran and just lay the cable up in, this, uh, up in the uh, attic where the speakers are going to go. And then that way the speakers, the cabling is done and then that way I can finish off this top amplifier um, because I've got a rat's nest of wires still. And because I was already done, I already finished off the bottom part and I've made this all look really nice, got it all zip tied and uh, going in so the bottom is done it looks really good and I just want to make the top look good and so getting these speaker cables ran uh, will allow me to have it basically be finished right up here I can get that all finished off so sorry that this has been dragged on again it should have been done like a month ago but whatever you know things happen so we are going to get at it and then there's a couple other things I want to talk about and uh, We'll wrap this video up, and I think this will probably be my last video of this year. So I'll talk um, about some cool projects coming up. So stay tuned on this video. You uh, don't want to miss a, a few things that I'm going to say at the end here. So, all right, let's get to running some cable. This is what my top plate ended up looking like. So we've got, I ended up having to drill four different holes because of all the cables that I had coming out. It was getting too tight, so I had four cables. Um, so my wife is putting on the cable, so here we go, last run. I've pulled up all my slack. I probably need a little bit more, but we're just going to start with this. So you can see I've got the cable split out right there. So one is going to come this way, the other is going to go that way because if you look down the center here, the hallway is basically straight up ahead there. That's the hallway. And so the, um, the ceiling fan that I was talking about is kind of right over there where I'm shining my light. And so I'm gonna have two speakers that way, but I'm going to have uh, those two over there in parallel. So I only need to run one cable there and then I need to run one cable on this side, which would be over the front door. And so that's what I'm going to do with this cable right here. We're going to follow um, this run of cables here 
this one will go above the front door and then the other cable will run along the other side and feed the first cable right there. So, or the first speaker where the kind of near the ceiling fan. All right, I got this one ran. So I moved the insulation and I'll leave it moved until we put the speaker in and then I'll come back up here and uh, move the insulation back over there and even it out. But that is where I'm going to put it. And I'll go down and I'll show you. There's a light right here. Uh, the insulation's covering it, but there's a vent and then there's a light and I'm going to put this in between the vent and the light. So here's my cable right here and it kind of goes in the V area and uh, back to that room. So we're gonna run the other one on the other side and it will just kind of rest inside of here. So let's go run that one. All right, I think the cabling is done. So here's my cable and it goes that way. And I kind of just, I stepped out on this area right here and did my best to try to throw it underneath there. I'm close enough, it's right there. That's about the general area where I want to be. So, and I think there's enough slack there that I think that should be fine. So, um, yeah, so this is done. What I'll do is when I do get that ceiling fan in finally, if they push it back to February, then I'm just going to go ahead and rent the scaffolding twice. Once for the speakers and getting this all done and then once for the ceiling fan. So. Hopefully it gets here middle of January where I can get this done as soon as possible and get that last video up for you guys. So let's go downstairs. Let's get that room kind of tidied up. And then uh, let's talk to you about some other exciting news. After 45 minutes of playing around with these and trying to get it, I finally have it the way I want it. So all the cables are zip tied, the plates are on, it looks really neat. I'm going to uh, make a custom shorter one of these just because I don't like the way this looks. So it'll just be a, a small jumper for the keypads. But finally got this done, I can finally pick up this room. It's a big mess. There's the bottom one. Now what I wanted to talk about was, uh, let me fire these up, but what I wanted to talk about was in one of my videos, I talked about how I made a custom, um, I, I joined two of these ribbon cables together and how I talked about how that's how I made it long enough to connect these two amplifiers. Well I wanted to talk about that and say that that actually um, won't work and the reason it won't work is because I found out that when the app tries to control it, um, the app, you know, it's using the integrated module, you know, so the app is connecting to the amplifier with its IP address. What I found out is that the app was having a hard time relaying the commands to the second amplifier, which that happens when um, you hit, you know, you're hitting this with the app. It sends the, if it's a command for the second amplifier, it sends that command through here. So this cable is used to share the audio sources to the second zone, uh, second amp, the slave amp, as well as the commands if you need to turn on or off the zone. So interestingly enough, in that other video, the audio commands were passed just fine. And the issue was the, the little connector, pin connector, that I used to connect those two together, that apparently has some kind of uh, resistance that the app doesn't like. And so I think what was happening is it hits that connector that I was using to connect these two together. Let me show you here. So if I pull these apart, 
So I think what was happening is um, it's, it's detecting that, you know, there's some kind of resistance change in those pins when it hits those pins and it, it was stopping the signal. So it wouldn't control the zones with the app. So what I ended up doing was I bought some ribbon cable, big long ribbon cable, and I made my own. So it, it needs to be a continuous cable. So it still works. Um, you just need to make your own continuous one unless you're not going to use the amp. In that case, you can join them together. But I don't recommend, I don't recommend joining them together like this. And if you need a custom length one, let me know. I'll make you a custom one. I bought this, this was a 16 foot reel. And I actually tested, I put an end on both ends because I wanted to see if, uh, you know, if 16 feet would work with the signal and 16 feet of a continuous ribbon cable had no issues at all. So it worked perfectly great. So um, I'll make, I'm, I have a lot of connectors and I've got a lot of ribbon cable. If anybody wants a custom one, just let me know and we'll uh, figure out, you know, a payment and shipping and I'll make a custom one for you. But anyway, I wanted to mention that because that's really important. What I said in that other video um, does not work once I try with the app. I think that about does it for this video. Unfortunately, it wasn't the most exciting video. I know that um, I'm sure they're kind of getting boring now by this time, but uh, just stick with me. I hope you guys like these videos because um, the next one should be a wrap up of this whole system. Everything will be cleaned up. The big uh, room will be done and these awesome enclosed speakers that you probably saw sitting on the shelf here will be in. I tested them out. They sound awesome. So I can't wait to hear how they sound up in the ceiling. But if you guys like my videos, you know, consider buying me coffee if they've helped you out. Um, I'm really looking to invest some more money into my channel over this next year and an exciting announcement. I hope you guys are really looking forward to more content on my channel. But I've got a very cool project coming up that I'm going to be recording and showing you guys. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, but um, I'll just say a little sneak peek. Um, we, I'm going to be filling a, about 30,000 square feet uh, with sound. It's going to be a lot of speakers. It's going to be some new products and uh, going to be talking about some cool stuff. So 30,000 square feet filling with sound, loud sound. So I hope you guys uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. And I hope you guys, um, if you guys want to see more content, let me know like what, what you're interested in. But yeah, we've got some cool stuff coming up and I want to do some more videos and invest more money into this channel and just doing cool things. So I hope you guys like it. So, all right, I think it does it for this one. Um, have a happy new year if I don't do another video before the end of the year. And um, if you guys want to, you know, start out the new year with, with uh, healthy, you know, eating healthy and doing stuff like that, check out my wife's. Um, she's a beach body coach. Check out the link in the description if you guys are interested in getting off to a healthy start to the new year. But have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you in 2021 and hope you guys are ready for some more content. All right, thanks.